Okay. Who read to you when you were a child? Well, from uh, being a baby to the age of about three and a half, I lived in uh, Toronto with an adoptive family. And I don't remember a great deal about it, but I don't remember anybody reading me any stories. And then I moved from Canada to England to live with my grandparents. And my grandfather was a veteran from the First World War. And he was gassed. And he lived in a house with two of my uncles who were veterans from the Second World War. And most of the stories in that house were about war. And some of them were told at night in screams. So it was decided that I should move to an orphanage. And from the age of about four and a half, I was in an orphanage in Sheringham a national children's home. And you went to bed pretty much according to how old you were. And being four and a half years old, I went to bed quite early. And I don't remember anybody ever reading me any stories. And then I moved to another orphanage up until the age of about seven and a half. And I don't remember anybody ever reading me any stories then either. And that's why stories are important to me. That's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs>